Yo, what's up? My name is Braxton Stewart, class 2023, Louisville baseball commit. I play here at Eastern Side, played uh, summer ball with the Indiana Bulls, and I play outfielder and pitcher, and this is what's in my bag. First off, is an essential for us pitchers only, a Gatorade towel. I keep a Gatorade towel with almost everywhere I go. When it gets hot, it's perfect for coming off a, a hard inning or a, a long hot day somewhere and uh, you're sweating and you need a Gatorade towel or just have it over your head for some shade. So that's definitely an essential. Next, snacks. You gotta have, these are cheese with white cheddar, not, not a, a certain preference of snacks, but you gotta have some type of snack in your bag when you're on the trip or playing summer ball or even high school ball. Not so much high school ball, but summer ball. You need a snack. I got my 100% uh, case. I got I got these recently, actually, uh, during the summer. I got them in Georgia. I never had 100%, but I've always worn my friends. So then I, I was like, I gotta get a pair. So these are my first pair. I love them. I wouldn't trade them for the world. And yeah, they're great. Shout out 100% and Max Clark. Uh, these right here, I use these in my pitching routine uh, just to get the quads and the glutes fired up before I throw and things like that. You, these are really cheap. You can, you can get them about anywhere, um, but they're really good. Of course, I have pitching balls, pearls. These are, you gotta keep these with you wherever you go, you know, whenever you need to throw. So a, lot, a lot of people don't have balls, you know, not good ones. And us POs know you gotta have, gotta have great balls to throw it. This, this right here, I recently switched from normal, what do they call it, the J bands. I, I really switched from the J bands to this. Um, I do a lot of, there's, there's a lot of exercises you can do with this. Um, it, it really helps you with your scalps and your shoulders. And a lot of, it helps with a lot of arm care too. This is, this is definitely an essential now, and I've definitely seen a difference using these, so go pick you up some of these. I, I don't even know what you call them exactly. It's like a little, like a, it's a little, this is a little rubber, rubber string. Okay. This is my pitching slash outfield glove. Um, it's a Wilson A2000. Got it in black, red and white, obviously for Louisville. Um, it's a great glove actually. Uh, my old pitching glove, it, it was really heavy. And this, I switched to this and it, it, was, it was a huge difference. It's, it's super light on the mound actually. And um, I love this glove. It's really comfortable, never had any problems. So yeah. Uh, these are my Marucci batting gloves. Um, I've worn Marucci batting gloves since I could remember. So I was about 12. Um, I just, I don't really like super thick batting gloves like a lot of people do actually, but I just like these because they're really comfortable on the hands. They they don't wear out. They, they, they actually last a long time for me too. So um, overall, they're, they're great batting gloves for me. Of course, Elbow guard, I throw left, I hit right, so my left arm is always in jeopardy when I'm swinging a bat. So, definitely how to learn my lesson with not wearing one. And ever since I was 11 years old, gotta have, gotta have the arm protector, and so far I haven't got hit since. This is my high school helmet. It's a uh, uh, Rawlings. Uh, obviously, got the face flap. Looks good. Uh, I've had it since about freshman year. Got the Easter Scythe logo on it. Shout out Easter Scythe. Um, it's a great helmet. It's real comfortable. It fits to your head no matter how big your head is. Um, I love it. Fits great. Had a heavy problems with it.
Um, this is my wood bat. It's a Victus, the Tatis model. Uh, I got this about, I want to say two years ago. It's, it's lasted, obviously. Um, it's a great bat. It's got a little pop to it. Um, I use it kind of mostly in the cages or obviously like you've seen today, sometimes in BP. I like using metal a lot more than wood, but that might just because I'm more of a pitcher. But metal definitely has a lot more pop, and, but wood-wise, it sounds better. Um, high school, or I don't have the bat with me today, but I used to use the Voodoo one. It's my favorite bat, super light swinging, has a lot of pop, hit a lot of bounce with it. Um, yeah, it, it, I love both these bats actually. Obviously the high school team is Navy, so I had to get the Navy on Navy cleats. Um, they're, they're really light. Obviously, if you wear Adidas, a lot of their cleats are super light, and that's one thing I love about them. So it doesn't make your legs tired when you're throwing and lifting your legs and all that stuff. Um, I got another pair of Adidas. I got these a while ago, actually. I usually use these more in practice, or not so much game. Um, they looked really nice when they were brand new. Obviously, they're a little, a little dusty and dirty now, but Again, these were great, super lightweight, super, super nice on the feet. I got the Moldeds. I got these when I played with the Canes um, last summer. Not this uh, uh, this summer, but last summer. So uh, yeah, I didn't really wear these too much because we were mostly on mostly on metals or turf, and I like to use the just straight turfs. I'm not big. I'm not a big mold guy. But when I gotta wear them, or or weather permitting, if I if I gotta put these on, um, they did good. They're, they're comfortable again. All of these cleats are comfortable to me. Super light and yeah. Then the only Nike ones I've had since I was about 13 years old. These have lasted a very long time. They're an old head shoe. You might see your coach rock these right here, but they're they're super they they they're super comfortable. The only, the only problem I have with them is when you're on turf and those little, I don't know what I'm talking about, those little pellets get in your shoes and your feet feel like they're melting through your shoes. But overall, they're a great shoe. I haven't had any problems with them. Yeah. And these are what I wore. These are what I wore my sophomore year um, and some of junior year. Again, another practice cleat, another Adidas cleat. They, they look super nice when they were new, again. Um, Super light, super comfortable, just like all Adidas cleats. And luckily, Louisville is sponsored by Adidas, so I can't wait to get there and get all the Adidas cleats and things like that. I love Adidas cleats. They're definitely my go-to. And yeah, and that's what's in my bag.